The death toll is nearing 44,000 in Turkey and Syria after last week's 7.8 magnitude earthquake and the aftershocks that followed. Remarkably, some people are still being rescued from the rubble of collapsed buildings, but the odds of finding survivors are dwindling. The United Nations is now appealing for $1 billion in relief funds for Turkey after launching a $400 million appeal for Syria. Kaya Edwards shows us how a small family business in South Minneapolis is working to make an impact too. MAPS Coffee and Tea here is located within the Midtown Global Market. The owners are from Turkey. It's a true family business. Today my daughter is working with me. My son left. <laughs> <laughs> Yildiz and Erdogan Akkush started their business 18 years ago. You play soccer every Sunday? Most of their other family members still live in Turkey, so when a powerful earthquake struck, emotion did too. Nobody lives in that area, but uh, when something happens like that, the whole country is your family and your heart is aching at this point. Tamam. They know what it's tamam. like. As a earthquake survivor myself, in 1999, big earthquake, Istanbul earthquake. We were there, the whole family, and I thought the whole building is going to collapse on us. The fear and sadness. At the time, they were scheduled to fly back to the U.S. the next day, but decided to stay to help people. Now, after an even stronger quake, they're helping again, but from Minnesota. I can't heal myself right now easily because I saw too many details. Hopefully, if we can help some of those people to ease their life, I know uh, we are not going to fix their life, but if we can ease their life a little bit, I'm going to be happy. On the counter at MAPS, there's a code for customers to scan, linking to a GoFundMe account with over $5,000 raised so far. As always, we've posted a link to the GoFundMe account on care11.com. Kaya Edwards, CARE 11 News.